this time I am joined by two lovely people who have welcomed me and you and all of us into their lovely establishment. So in a place unknown, um, for better reasons, I would like to say thank you to Carrie and Franco for welcoming me today. How are you guys doing? It's going Great. All right. All right. Not too right. bad. Well, y'all don't look too excited. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Okay. Well, yes. So thank you so much for having me. Uh, welcome me to We Can Do This On Set. I really appreciate it. Um, so your little slice of heaven, it's uh, it's very nice. Very nice. Unique. Um, yes. Very unique, I want to say. Uh, how did you like come up with the concept for the the color? So the color concept, yeah, the or color the concept of it completely? The, the I was, well both. So the concept was developed three years ago. Uh -huh. um, was at a wild pool party. I mean, insane pool party, a lifestyle pool party. Uh -huh. And no matter where you went, everything there was something going on, right? And then there was this group of people sitting off to the side, having a chat. You know, and they were just. A group of people so I went over there and my friend Deb was there she's one of the other trustees who's not here and uh, started chatting with all these folks and they're like well you know all this is exciting to see but well, like to get to know people you know it's not all just about sex right so which obvious was going on everywhere you looked but people were more interested in getting to know like other couples and wanting to intermingle with them and you know make friends because you can't go to a vanilla bar anymore and even have a conversation so now is this an ice cream bar yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> no all, that's, all that's a, yeah, that's, yeah, there's a lot of flavors but like vanilla is there. not yeah vanilla yep. is the basic flavor uh however so and then you know started chatting with deb and you know um then we got involved in all this covid garbage you know and then um uh, during covid started doing a little research and learning the constitution and help get the gyms reopened here by, you know, and then other things we were political, kind of politically involved, but just um, trying to get people to realize you have your rights and you get to stand on them, you know. So we wanted to base the club on, you know, you know your freedom because 30 years ago here in the Valley, they closed all the clubs and they left two clubs open that are, I mean, I, they're not our competition. They're a whole different setup than we are. It's, you know, we're a social club but for people in the lifestyle. Yes. So, and the, where the concept of the colors came from, we were trying to come up with a catchy name. And, you know, you want something short and gets people to remember it very easily. So, um, at the time I was dating on, uh, you know, a bunch of like regular vanilla sites. And then it was like, well, you know, we were just having a conversation and the hive came up. And so let's call it the hive, you know, a bunch of bees come in, whatever. And then, yep. you know, the colors come from that, of course, obviously. And it's the, the concept of the hive is very easy. And then now we have people like, and then <clears throat> our opening night, we put bees all over the tables. We had these little jewel bees. Two girls glued them on their boobs and took a picture. And now we buy 250 bees a month so that girls can glue them all over their body and take pictures. Okay. And people take bees on vacation they bring us we have gifts everywhere from all of our members that are hanging and adorning the walls because people you know bring us gifts for bees you know now so. when you say you have basically women putting bees on themselves does a dude come in with like honeycomb and honey say oh i want some of that honey wow. <laughs> I've, I've only seen two yes. men yes. i've only seen two <laughs> men put their a bee on their penis and uh, that's super rare, but the bartenders were like, we're tired of seeing it on, you know, just boobs. And one of the bartenders suggested that, you know, you get, put it on a man's penis. And some guy went and did it, went in the room and put it on his penis. So, you know, so, it does happen from so time to time. So I just come in one night and be like, who wants this honey? Yeah, yeah, exactly I'm going to sting you. Yeah. <laughs> and so we were in a smaller location. We outgrew that location in just seven months. Um, Kerry came on, uh, I think in May, um, June, I mean, probably June, probably May. I think it, yeah, I think May it was or May. June. It was May. Just when we were getting ready yep. to move. So now Cherry, uh, Cherry, ooh, Cherry, Cherry, ooh, Cherry, Cherry is now the trustee. <laughs> Wait, we can call you whatever you want, <laughs> whatever, whatever blows up your dress, kid. But, uh, yeah. So, and then Kerry came on board. So now there's four of us. There's Debbie, Wendy, Kerry, and myself. Uh -huh. And basically, we're all trustees, and um, we're based on the Constitution here. We're a social club first. Of course, there's many places you can go with 
whoever and do whatever you'd like to do. Okay. That's your business and no one else's. All right. What happens in the club stays in the yeah, club. That's pretty much it. So as it's a membership, so is it membership only? Do you have to know someone to be able to get in here or is it like is a free for all? Uh, we're pushing to make it ultra private where you would have like you would have to refer her or she would have to refer her uh -huh. and so on because um, we're just trying to keep it to people that understand the concept of what we've put together. Yes. Uh, we're not we're not building a brand, we're building a family, a community, so that makes it entirely different. And like a club, you know, these other clubs, they they just run different. They're, and we've I've gone to other clubs and be like, wow, this place is amazing. Mm -hmm. But for the concept that we've designed, it's totally different. And how we operate is completely different. Got it. Got it. And how do you enjoy it? Oh gosh. <laughs> that I started going to the hive because of what it was. <coughs> it, it it was social first. Okay. And and that was where I decided, oh my God, I love this. And and I come up from Tucson. No pressure. And <laughs> and there it, there's absolute no pressure. Yes. I mean, you no one is there groping you or like trying to push you to go do anything that you don't want to do mm -hmm. you come in here we socialize sometimes you just leave here and just have had great social interaction with great people all yeah. night yeah um i think the thing that sold me on it was that it was much classier than some of the other clubs that yeah. you walk into um i'd gone to a couple places in vegas and even at that this was where i loved I'd come up usually on Saturday nights. I'd come up to the hour hives. and a half drive. Yeah, so. and it, it, but it was worth it. Wait a minute, an hour and a half just kept to have complete conversation and no sexual, sexual yeah. things involved. Yeah, yeah. nothing wrong because, with that. Because the people. Did you get that on a Facebook group? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> no, I don't want. There's any nothing virtual here, my right, friend. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but but I have noticed that the people that I have met here are just great people. They're very like-minded. I am very, very new to this lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So in, I had gone with my boyfriend to Vegas. That's where we were like, okay, let's go, you know, let's check out the lifestyle. Okay. Um, in gone to the Vegas places and yeah okay well and then while I was in Vegas someone had been in the area Tucson I think is where they were from originally and they had said something about you know this place in Scottsdale um, that was our original location and that we were gonna have you know you know go check it out so we did and but yeah. after that, Lost it your was like, lifestyle virginity in this club. <laughs> yes, actually, <laughs> did. <laughs> okay. There he is said it, folks. He said it. Lifestyle virginity. Maybe just coined a new definition. Yep, she got that cherry pop. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and flogging? Um, yeah. It okay, was, yeah. You know, it, for me, it was a whole new world. But it was a whole oh, world. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So Disney. <laughs> so our first, our first party, our first event was a Playboy Mansion party. So people came dressed as Playboy bunnies or with a silk robe and whatnot. And we were up in Old Town, Scottsdale. And unbeknownst to us, there's a lot of retired Playboy bunnies that live in Old Town, Scottsdale. So our first night, luckily two Playboy bunnies showed up. Retired Playboy bunnies showed up at the club. And originally we had a, a little, I built a flogging bench, you know, and I fought Debbie originally on flogging. I was like, that's not classy, but it's, you know, it, it guess, I guess it basically is because. Hey, Fifty Shades. Yeah, I know. It is the most oh, popular no. thing. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. It is the most popular thing in this stupid club. Like, that it blows my mind. I'm like, wait. And so that night, these two Playboy bunnies flogged some guy. And I came in and the club was empty and I, I was scared. I was like, oh, did everybody leave? No, they're outside all watching the flogging. And so I'm like, I had to go in, apologize to Deb. And now we have a St. Andrew's cross and a spanking bench and probably gonna add another St. Andrew's cross. Yes, it's it's super, well, it's because it's something tantalizing, something 
hey, just spices every, things yes, up. Yes, everybody bit. has their kinks and quarrels, but mm-hmm. I just know I don't want to get spanked because that I'm not down for that. Well, you, you know, never there, know. No, there is hey. no never know. If someone's <laughs> gonna spank me, I feel like it's my grandmother telling me don't touch that. So <laughs> this is not. It's the exact opposite yeah, of that, the I spectrum, my but friend. But then my spectrum is like I'm not down for spanking. There's just some limits right. that I don't want to. Beyond, so. Let me tell okay, you. Then, let me give you a little. Then hint. try flogging because yeah. it's not flogging is not spanking. spanking. Yeah. No. It's like a you, leather. It's like a nuts. leather. <laughs> 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 no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, we might. So. Hey, I can't argue with that. Yeah. We are nuts. <laughs> I think but you need to expand nuts. your horizons <laughs> just, just, just a little bit. Just a little. What's just a little bit? I don't know. Check it out. Check out flogging. Social. I'm gonna be here tonight. Have one of the girls throw you up on the cross. They'll show you what it's all about. Um, okay. Yeah. Come on. I, I do say, I do not. <laughs> you can't say I if a hot that. girl came up to you and yeah. said, it's, it's Hey, Will, really could I girl? use this Come flogger on. on you a little bit? You'd be like, oh, yeah. You'd say please. no. Come on. No, I Seriously? probably would say no. What? Oh, yep. Oh, <laughs> Give me a break. We'll test you tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. There you go. You can test him out. You can give him a trial run. A trial run? Yeah. 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 A no is no. Yeah. If you say no, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah. We don't put up with much. Yeah, I guess. There is not, so. you know, it's not one of those where you go into the club and people are doing things that are inappropriate to you without asking permission. Yeah, that's very true. That's very much, we are very much that, you know, you need to ask. There's yeah. rules. We do have a lot of rules, and we expect you to follow them. Or you're rules, basically, yeah. <laughs> basically no, the rule is you just be nice to each other. Respectful. You're an association. I watch her back. She watches mine. I watch your back. You watch her back. And, you know, everybody protects each other here and looks out for each other. If someone sees something, they're, gonna, they're not going to allow it to go because they don't want to ruin what's, what's here. You know, there are so many things that occurred after we designed this, like, this was a shot in the dark. Like there's 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 334 clubs in America. We're the only social club. That's it. And so it was like, okay, well, I'll I'll dare to be different and try something new. And we sell out like every Saturday night. This place is packed, you know. So, and we're doing something right. We offer a monthly membership, which is our most um, purchased item. So people come can come as unlimited. So now that if you're in the lifestyle and you want to meet another couple, instead of going to a vanilla bar and then, hey, you know, what about this? And whispering to each other, you just bring that couple here and you sign up, you sign the waiver, you come in, you sit down and you could do whatever you want, talk. And then if you, if you decide to play, there's no pressure, but you can wander off somewhere and do whatever you want. Now, is not this strictly couples based? We are. Mm-hmm. We do have a hand, like, uh, what, three, two or three single yeah. men, but they were, they've were they been here since the start. And they were vetted by someone to begin with. Yes, you ha- you can't just walk through our front door. You have to be vetted by another male. couple. Yeah. yeah, so, and the, the whole concept was based around couples, and we're going to stay that way. We're, we're not going to really, like, if, so there's so many degrees, like, there's this thing called the hot wife situation, where, say, if she was my wife and she wanted a two men, Instead of a man and two women, she she can have a man, and then it would be two men and her. So that's a hot wife situation. So they could bring a single man with them, but he has to stay with them. And then if they decide to do something here in the club, that's their business. Sounds like you know, nice little catalyst. Like, yeah, boy, you can't go out. You guys. Well, next. pretty much. <laughs> I've seen there are things that I have seen. I see I've seen men on collars. I see women on collars, um, leashes, whatever. There's so many different degrees of what people look for in the lifestyle mm-hmm. and now with how you how i say this so with the way you set up your club is it a way to where you you want to bring as many people as you possibly can or do you keep a limit or a cap on it every single week or single day like do you want to build to where you have a bigger space or you want to stay where you're at well that's hard i you know we're looking to go to a second location um, because we do still have a lot of people that come up from Tucson, um, but we do cap it. You know, we, we have a number, um, and then we try not to exceed that number. Occasionally, once in a while, you know, we might go one or two people over. But, you know, you have to think about you want it to be comfortable for everyone, and you want everyone to have fun. They want to be able to use the dance floor and, you know, still, you know, 
hang out. So you don't want it to be overcrowded either. So yep. it's very important that we limit the crowd. But if you're a member, we're never going to turn you away from the door. So if you're a new person, say sorry, we're full. Now, do you have like member key cards or is it just you know it by face? <clears throat> so we uh, just had a, a long bout of trying to figure out a program that would work for us. Um, we brought in a new uh, person, Gail, who became a trustee, and then she's working and taking all the bugs out of our new QR system. So you basically get a little app on your phone, mm -hmm. you get a QR code, QR codes attached to our computer, you know, you sign all your waivers and everything electronically, and then you walk in, scan the QR code, it recognizes you in the computer, and in you go. Got it. Also, shout out to Gail. Uh, she, you guys have seen her <coughs> with me. We've interviewed a couple of times. Uh, look her up on Facebook. Uh, relationships evolving, I think it is. So yeah, she's a great Ooh, person. I want to know more. <laughs> yeah, yes, I think we <laughs> all do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she's, she's a great Kurt. coach. Um, I, she's become a personal friend of mine. It's because of her that I'm here. So I would love to give a shout out to her. Thank you so much, Gail. I appreciate it. If it wasn't for you, I would not be sitting down with these two people, beautiful people who are talking to me about the lifestyle. Uh, it's out here. And it's more as like, it's talked about now to where you can be open with people. Mm -hmm. Before you couldn't, you couldn't say, hey, I want to sleep with your wife or I want to sleep with your husband. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Not get some really cool. I mean, but still, yeah, it doesn't work like that. It's more to it. It's a lot more to it. It's more open it's to it. More to it. More open it's to way it. more complicated. You won't, than that. you won't be judged or ridiculed about it. Right, so. exactly. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. So. And um, so I want to ask you both separately or together, how did y'all get into the lifestyle? Oh, well, she can go first. <laughs> um, that was through the guy I was dating at the time uh -huh. that was a, we decided that we wanted to try it yes yep That's so it. that was it so <laughs> then so we made our first trip in when we went to Vegas so we thought we'd try some clubs up there uh -huh. and then that's where you know it was it was good we you know one club was pretty yeah definitely not my my cup of tea mm -hmm. then the other one was a little bit closer to you know okay yeah i could definitely see something like this and then it wasn't until scottsdale. going to scottsdale that pop the chick no pop the <laughs> pop goes the weasel. officially did the lifestyle <laughs> stuff <laughs> so pretty virgin to it so <laughs> me it was in 2009 i had just gone through a divorce and i uh, was dating a police officer of all things and it was her birthday and we we're going to a surprise birthday party and i had no idea um and then wandered in and lo and behold wow there's a house full of naked people and s stuff going on everywhere mm -hmm. so and this gorgeous naked girl answered the door took the girl i was dating and then threw her down and started having sex with her right in front of me i'm looking down go dude it's your moment and I was like a deer in the headlights because I was like, what is going on? I was totally in shock. It took me a couple hours to re like collect my thoughts and like go, wow, what is this? You know, and then sat down, started talking a lot. And there, you know, there are so many different people, you know, you know, you know, you think, oh, people have this one image in their mind of what a swinger club or mm -hmm. a swinger party is. And then if you go to one or two of them, of course, you're going to find some that are just like, you know, they're way out over there. That's not my thing. Something's way over that way. Maybe not my thing. And then something in the, in the lane for you. And then it works. But, you know, um, that's why we also decided for a social club, because the club basically has picked all its own members without us doing a thing. Mm -hmm. You want to come and associate with her. And then she wants to come and associate with that person and that person. And then they, those people are attracted back to the club because, oh, that person's going to hang out there. And well, let's meet over here. And before you know it, we're at uh, close to 1,900 members. Yeah, so it's mind-blowing. And that's just today is one-year anniversary. 
Yeah. Um, thank you for having me. Yeah, Yay. yeah, yeah. It's a big deal today. Can I right. party today? Yeah, you're gonna be. You're gonna see some party tonight, boy. Yeah, so. sarcasm. Yeah, going to be in the house, people. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully more are us orgasms than sarcasms. But. Well, you yeah. still gotta have a, a sarcasm or orgasm. It's like, yeah, girl, I know you want it. I've been wanting it too. Put it in my face. <laughs> well, we'll throw you. We'll have. We'll have. Uh, we'll have Carrie throw you up on a flogging cross. And there you go. We'll figure see, it out. You know what? I was all for you. You just it's had to go. Get it. You really did. Yeah. Why? Would you not let her flog you? No. Damn. You're a crazy boy. I'm not crazy. I'm selective. There's a difference. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what? perhaps we could get a man? Is that, I don't is that want the a man issue? Either. Okay. Well, just I mean, if you get me. like a little midget that has different three strokes legs, for different yeah. folks, my friend. Uh, I've heard about that. I think, you know, <laughs> more people are worried about their pronouns here. We don't, you know, that's not oh, a matter here. Yeah. So. yeah. My pronouns is pay me. So. <laughs> Show me the money. <laughs> Show me the money. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm the money. Yeah. Uh, so I actually have a few more if I get you guys out of here. Um, what have some? Th what has been some things you've seen that you just never thought was possible? Oh my God! Why if you can you name just like a couple, one or two, whatever. Well, things I would surprise to see, like that I, you know, of course you can see it on a video, and it's not the same as seeing it live. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, in our old location, all the rooms had windows, and you could leave the shades open if you were someone who wanted people to watch you. And one day I was walking by and here was this girl getting fisted by a woman and another man. I'll never unsee that. At the same time? Yes. <laughs> so. Yes. Okay. I know yeah. babies come out of there, but they come out. <laughs> they don't ever try to go back in. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, that's pretty big. You can't unsee that. You know, just wham. So it was like, was it two fisted at the same time? Like yeah. one... One in each hole or just in the same One hole? One in each hole, my friend. Oh. Okay. I guess they were fisting each other. <laughs> High five. High five. High five. Yeah. And so I, because I had never seen that before live and <laughs> close, I went, and got, I went and got one of our bartenders, Wendy. I said, I have to show you this. And she goes, what? And I wouldn't tell her. So I drag her from the bar Surprise. all the way out there. And she goes, oh! <laughs> literally it was traumatized. traumatized forever <laughs> but hey, really not to not to knock it but those folks that's what they enjoy right that's their business but for me it's like okay like not my thing but if that's what they choose you got to be proud of them that they choose to be free enough to explore themselves and try something and they seem to enjoy it they did it for a to while that's it mm -hmm. man true and that's none of my business. I mean, I maybe make a little fun of it because it was something maybe a little more shocking to me. Mm -hmm. But, you know, not out of the realm, you know. And then there's other clubs where it's all based on kink. You know, like what are... So I think there's a club up in Scottsdale called Kinks. But it's uh, someone that does it out of their home. There's a lot of, you know, like... There's a lot of things that spawned off of when they closed everything down. You know, because they felt it was bad. You know, it's, I don't, I'm sorry, but I don't care about your feelings. You know, I have the freedom <laughs> to do it. I'm going to do it. You know? that's so that's it. So that's fine. And you, Miss Lady? I haven't seen anything like super crazy. Freak, crazy, yeah, yet. So, hey. I don't so, know. like, basically, what she's telling you is a threesome and a foursome and all that's pretty much normal. Yeah. That's really what she's telling you. Yeah, basically. Or, you know, a group room yeah. with, mul you know, multiple couples. Kind of normal. That's a normal. That doesn't even shock me. It doesn't, me fade. Anymore. It doesn't may not like shock and awe like what yeah, he like experienced, that. but, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, here we have. You live. should see our lost and found. <laughs> Why? What's in there? Oh. Whatever. So one day I found in one of the rooms, I found a black dildo that was at least 24 inches long and about three inches in diameter and it had a wire going around it that was coated in silicone and me i had no idea you know because that's not something that i would have but it had a suction cup on the bottom so i walked out i slapped it on the bar and i asked my girlfriend what is this suction cup for well i got quite the demonstration as to what the suction cup was for so yeah, and then I posted it on the Lost and Found. And the girl that showed up was smaller than her. And I said, so jokingly I said to her, I said, so if I look in your pussy, do I see headlights coming at me? Wow. And she laughed so hard and went beep, beep. And then took her dildo home. 
<laughs> Anything goes. <laughs> Pretty much. So now, are you two a couple, or are you just work here with the club? No, no, we're just trust trustees. Trustees. Okay. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Just asking you next. Yep. Know. We volunteer for this stuff. Yep. You volunteer? Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, we volunteer to get free sex. Why not? So. Well, you think that, but no, yeah. I, no, I, no, I'm not. I don't think that. I'm just saying. We are. Uh, we are just starting to basically because the membership has grown so much starting to like give each other a break to get out into the crowd and mingle with mm -hmm. with all the members because they're all our friends now you know it's basically it's an association so we're all sort of kind of related in a way we're we're friends yeah so it's kind of cool what you know the concept what we've developed and where it's going and where it's at is just it's really cool so are you trying to be the Hugh Hefner around this place nope just, nope. just running I'm no different than she is yeah Okay. No different than she is. There's three other trustees. Yeah. We're all equal in this. And, um, you know, just trying to just make it better every single day. You know, we're always updating the club, moving things around, changing things. This is better. That's not. You know, we try different things. Um, we're going to probably try to upgrade some of our art on the walls and try to just... We don't... Like, we had this intimacy at, oops, at uh, Scottsdale that... We tried to keep that, and I think we're, we're starting to stray away from that a little bit. We're going to reel that back in. Um, we're changing how we structured uh, people entering the club, um, kind of tweaking with, um, you know, pricing and whatnot uh, for donations. So just different things that, you know, little subtleties, you know, and the girls are influential in so many ways. Like, I'm blessed to have three amazing women you know right alongside of me that you know they keep it because they have a, women have the different perspective than a man does right like women are always looking for safety and you know well more. you look for that i mean you're very i do but i'm yeah. just saying it if if i need vindication i go to them and then you know they'll they'll you know validate it whatever so it's really good you know a lot of times too you know like i was a firefighter for over well, 32 years so I worked with type A personalities and it's a whole different when you're with three women as three opposed women, to you're yeah. like going which personality uh, is this today yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's like, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> so, pretty much when I would go to work I knew what to expect but when I come here I never know what to expect <laughs> but it's great no it really is I tease but it's really great they're you know they're amazing women and we keep, you know, we keep him in line too he keeps yeah, us in line yeah yeah, so it's all good stuff. So you like working alongside him and your oh, other yeah. people? It's it's family. Uh -huh. It really is. You know, yeah. very we're very protective of each other. Yeah, that's the idea. You know? right. And that's what a lot of our you know, members yep. who started coming here are still here because of that. Yeah, you and know, they do that they for like each that. other. They yeah. all do yeah. it for each other. Definitely. That's why if they, they saw something in the club they didn't like it, you know, they would go and write, they wouldn't hesitate to go and talk to a person or come to me and say, yo, you need to speak to that guy, mm -hmm. you know, and um, we, we've, we've been open a year today and we've had three small incidents, all were ironically involving women, women. But, <laughs> but they were all like, you know, there was one that was the worst if I had to say, and then. You know, but they, you know, it's it's easily mitigated. And then what we have is that we have a no tolerance policy. If you come in here and you do something to a member that offends them, and I mean literally, seriously offends them, you can't come to me three days later and say, oh, this happened. No, you come to me when it's happening or come to one of the girls when it's happening. We'll find out, get to the bottom of it, and then you just won't be back to the club ever. So I think also that kind of helps people to say like, hey, I, don't, I like this. I want to come back. I'm not going to mess up. You know, and, and we, we're just not going to tolerate that because we're looking out for each other. So, wow. kind of cool. Wow. You two are some great, great people. You well, really thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much for welcoming me to your club and sitting down and talking with you. I appreciate it so much. I learned more than I thought I was going to. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I did. I mean, I even though... you need to get him on the floor. I know what... Okay. I think, okay. think, think you're right. just start with the slaughter. <laughs> but no. You... Oh, yeah. Get this man a shot of Later. tequila. Get rid Later. of that wine, please. <laughs> I'll take no, tequila. No, tequila. <laughs> <laughs> tequila with 
orange and oh, cinnamon and on cinnamon. it. Oh, and cinnamon. You got to try that. So mm, brings thing tequila to, to a whole new level. Yes, it does. Okay. All right. Well, it's time to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, we're right here. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking with me, sitting down, uh, thank right you. into your luxurious home. I really do appreciate it. So hopefully I can come oh. back. Yes, yeah, your home. <laughs> this is yeah. our second home. Yeah, really. <laughs> home. Basically is. It I'm is. here every day. Yeah, you said that is my home away from home. <laughs> yeah, I'm here every day, whether I like it or not. Okay. So. <laughs> so, well, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. And to all y'all, thank you so much for watching and uh, listening and enjoying. Um, I can't say enough. I mean, I don't want to give out where they're at because you have to be uh, affiliated with somebody who is a member. So remember, no one's going to judge you for what you do, who you are, how you are. No one is. In this society, people would, ju people would judge you for any and everything. But remember, just be yourself. When yourself, people will accept you for who you are. So this has been another episode of Sarcasm and Orgasm. I'm joined by these two lovely people who welcomed me here today. I can't say thank you. I really can't. Thank, thank you so you much. Flag, thank flag, you. Flag. Yeah, thank it you. probably will tonight. Now I'll, I'll have some honey with me just in case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Sweet>. <laughs> Sticky so, sweet. This has been another episode of Sarcasm Orgasm. Make sure that you like, comment, and su subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you all soon.